Hi, this is Judy from Clothing Patterns 101 and welcome to another video newsletter. Today I'm going to talk about the importance of fit and I know that I've discussed this over and over and over again but now I'm going to give you an example of where I did not follow my own advice. Uh, when I started working on the website and the tutorials um, I also decided to make a block for myself as I was showing everyone how to make their own block. I made a block for myself. I made a dress block and from that I made a blouse block. From that blouse block I made this blouse. Now this blouse is really right off the block. It is, um, the fit is exactly as my block is. Um, I simply changed the opening to be a little bit asymmetrical, a v-neck, changed the sleeve a little and that's it. It is, the fit of the body is exactly what my block um, shows. And it, it also shows that I did not take the time to truly fit my block properly. Um, I, I've worn this blouse maybe two or three times. I've never felt comfortable in it. It's not physically uncomfortable. It's just that I know it doesn't quite fit. I know it isn't quite right. And you know, when you, when you look uh, good, you feel good. I don't feel good in this blouse because I know that it doesn't look good. And I'm going to show you the, the problems that I have with the blouse and I'm going to have to go back to my block and make corrections. Not, I'm going to try to correct this blouse but I also have to make corrections to uh, the block that it came from. So as you can see when I open up my arm a little bit there's some the side seam sort of collapses and there's some drag lines. Uh, the problem with that is, well, there could be any number of problems. So let me start with any blouse hangs from the shoulder. So the first thing you should always look for when you're checking something like this is check the shoulder. You would like lift the shoulder and see if it takes care of the drag lines, which it does a little bit, but not too much. Um, and looking at my block, I can see I have plenty of slope in the shoulder. It doesn't need to be lifted. Uh, so I'm not going to do that. But the problem with this one is the dart. Now when you do your dress block, you have a side dart and a waist dart. Darts, as we've discussed before, control the fullness of the fabric, the excess fabric, so that you can shape the fabric around your body. It goes, you know, your body's not a cylinder, you can't simply wrap it in fabric, you have to use the darts to shape it to conform to the curves of your body. And when you have a dress block that is very closely fitting throughout the body, you have more darts. In a blouse, you don't need the darts. You can use them if you want, obviously. You can have a very fitted blouse. I chose not to have a fitted blouse, so I eliminated the waist dart. And I only have the, the side bust dart. When you have two darts, you can distribute that excess fabric. And the two darts work together to control the fabric and, and shape to your body. When you simply eliminate one of those darts, you only have one dart doing that. And again, I don't want it to fit through here, but I still need it to fit through the bust. And um, that means that this side dart needs to do more work in the blouse than it does in the dress. Because again, with the dress, when you have two darts, those two work together to um, shape the fabric around your body. When you only have the one dart doing all the work, it's not enough in this case. That's why I have this, this, the drag lines. That's why I have the collapsing of the side seam. My dart needs to be deeper. If I make, pinch this out and make the, the dart deeper, I don't know if you can see it right now, but it does lift the side seam. The other th problem that I have with this blouse is that my shoulder seam is too long. My sleeve cap comes to here, and that's too low. It should come to about here, uh, up a little bit farther, about half an inch. This, this shoulder seam is just about a half an inch too long which puts my sleeve cap too, long, too far over. That's that whole area. If it doesn't fit through the shoulder, it just looks sloppy. It just, it looks like it doesn't fit. And, um, and that's what I have here and, and that's what I don't like. So I'm going to have to show, sort, shorten my shoulder seam so I can lift the sleeve cap. Now one, another thing I noticed in this, and I don't think you're gonna be able to see that because it's dark, but the angle of my shoulder is a little weird. It's fine, it starts at the neck fine, but it angles too far to the back. That doesn't affect the fit of the garment. It's not something I need to fix on this blouse, but I do want to fix it in my block because 
it's easier to be more accurate in how you do things when you have the, the angle of the shoulder correct. And that varies from person to person. So um, I simply didn't pay too enough attention to that. I need to angle my shoulder forward. But more importantly, I need to show, shorten the shoulder seam so that the sleeve cap can sit where it belongs. So those are the two things that I really need to fix on this blouse. Make a deeper side dart and shorten the shoulder seam. And in, in shortening the shoulder seam, you also then scoop out the armhole. You have to reshape the armhole. Another thing you'll notice here is that my armhole is way out here. My armpit is here. Now, your armhole doesn't need to be right at the armpit, especially with the blouse. You do loosen that up a bit. With your block, it's pretty close to the armpit. With the blouse, it shouldn't be. But I went a little too far. So when I, short, when I shorten the armhole and scoop out or reshape the, when I shorten the shoulder seam and then reshape the armhole, I'm going to scoop out quite a bit because it, this is just too far away from the pivot point of my arm. And again, that's another thing that makes the whole thing just look sloppy. Now it's kind of difficult because I do have a big bust and my shoulders are not that broad, which is why I have to sh uh, shorten the shoulder seam. So it can be difficult to fit through here, but if you can get a good fit through the shoulder and chest area, the rest of the, of the dress, you could have a nice big flared, oversized, whatever, um, as roomy as you want it, and it still looks good because you, it fits through the shoulders. And I don't have fit through the shoulders right now, and that's one of my biggest problems. So I started making corrections. I made corrections to this side. I did make a much deeper, dart. Um, so I hope you can see when I have my arms out. Hopefully it's showing. I'm going to hang properly here. Hopefully it's showing that this side still has some collapsing, some drag lines. This side should hang much better. Hopefully that hangs better. And that's because I did take a deeper dart. What happens though with a deeper dart is that I have shortened the side seam of the front panel but the back panel is still the same length. So now I have a shorter front panel than back panel. Um, on my block, I'm going to have to correct that and add to the, the hem at the, at, the, uh, at the side seam. The front side seam needs to be lengthened because when you make the dart deeper, it shortens the front panel and I'm going to have to even this out. But I didn't want to shorten uh, the whole blouse. I like the length of the blouse. So what I did I, instead is I chose to make a vent. That allows for a little bit more movement through the hips anyway. And it's perfectly acceptable to have an uneven hem when you have a vent like that. If the, if the back is longer than the front. Having the front longer than the back would just be weird. But having the back longer than the front is perfectly acceptable. It's kind of a shirt tail hem. So that's something I will accept in this blouse. But on my block, I'm going to have to go back and make sure that the side seams match. And then I did shorten the shoulder and I had to scoop out quite a bit through here. I don't know that it's still quite enough right through here. I could see, kind of feel like maybe I could scoop it just a little bit more. But if I scoop it out any more here, I would have to affect, that would affect the sleeve cap. I would have to make my sleeve cap wider, which I can do on my block if I need to, but on this blouse I can't. So I scooped it as much as I could, and I scooped a lot, but I scooped it as much as I could to make this fit a little bit better through the shoulder um, and through the armhole. But there's only so much I can do on a blouse that's already been, that been cut because I can't change the sleeve cap. Whenever you scoop out an armhole like I just did, you're making the armhole larger, and then you run into uh, the possible problem of your sleeve cap being too small to fit into the armhole. In this case, I had plenty of ease. If anything, I felt like I might have had a little bit too much ease in the sleeve cap before. That worked to my advantage in this case because the sleeve cap still fit into the armhole. But when you uh, reshape your armhole at all, if you scoop it out at all, you are making the armhole bigger and that can affect how the sleeve fits into the armhole. So be careful when you're doing that. It's one thing to do it on paper because you can still go back and, and correct the sleeve cap if you need to. But once you've already cut the garment like I did, there's only so much you can do through here without affecting this because I can't fix this. But those are the corrections that I made. Um, I'm happier with it. It's still not perfect, but I'm happier with the way it fits. I feel like the shoulder is a better length. 
I still need to change the angle. Again, I'll do that on my block. I can't do it on the blouse. And um, I need to obviously correct the side seam because that uh, unevenness is not something I want on the block. I'll live with it on this blouse. It's not something I want on the block. So I'm going to now show you on a small scale version of a block the corrections that I made and um, I'll be back with you in just a minute. Hi, so we're back and I'm going to show you how I made some of those corrections to my blouse which I will then translate to my blouse block. This is a 3 8 inch scale, or 3 8 scale um, block pattern. It is not my personal block obviously, it is simply a, sort of a standard block but uh, just for demonstration purposes I'm going to show you what I did here. Now with um, with a block like this, uh, with a blouse where you have a side dart, I did not use the waist darts on this, it was not a fitted blouse. I'll show you how you fit the two sides together. Start at the armhole and then make a, make a little mark. Just going to use pencil here so I can erase it. Where the dart starts, then make another, then, then line up the bottom part of the dart and continue sort of walking the pattern. This has a little bit of shape at the side seam. And you'll see that it meets at the bottom with a nice straight line. So that's how you take into account the dart when you're truing the side seam of your blouse. Start at the top, make a mark at the top part of the dart, then move it to move the bottom part of the dart to that mark and continue on. Now I've made a tracing of this because I'm going to make some corrections here. And the first thing that I did was to make the dart deeper. Now I had to make my dart quite a bit deeper. And I actually changed the angle just a little bit. But I had to take in the dart actually quite a bit. So that's my new dart and I'm going to cut that. So I have a much deeper dart than I had in the first place. My new dart is quite a bit deeper than the dart we had in the first place. And now, when you line it up, it sits up a little bit higher, and well, you can see easily that there is a discrepancy here, and that's why I have, um, that's why I chose to go with a vent and have the back a little bit longer. But what I'm going to have to do now is add some paper to the bottom. I'm going to keep the front the same, but I'll, I will have to fill in this area on my, on my block to make sure that the side seams match. So that's the side seam. The shoulder I had to shorten the shoulder about half an inch. Do that there. And I would do that on the back as well. Now here I'm not going to make a real dark mark, but you have to, um, I shorten the shoulder and then you would have to kind of re reshape the shoulder or the, or the armhole just a bit. In the back I didn't do much. I just kind of went from the curve and made a nice, redrew the curve up to where I, up to the new shoulder point. So I didn't do too much on the back just a little bit of a curve. On the front, however, because this was too wide on me, this area here was too wide on me, I really scooped out a lot. And I ended up coming in easily an inch right at the armhole there. Didn't change the underarm, but I scooped it out a lot. So my, my new armhole shape is quite a bit deeper in the front, which is a little unusual, but again, that's my body. I'm going to 
cut that out as well. So that's my new armhole, quite a bit deeper. Didn't cut it real smoothly, but it's quite a bit deeper there. And then the other little thing that I did was that on mine, um, the way my shoulder angled, uh, this went too far to the back. It was fine at the neck, but this went too far to the back. Now the, this particular block does not look like, like it has that problem, but I'm going to do this correction anyway. I don't want to, I'm just changing the angle of the shoulder. So what I take off the front, I'm then going to add to the back so that I also, so the angle of the back shoulder also changes. So I'm just changing the angle of the shoulder. I'm not taking anything in or letting anything out. I'm just changing the angle of the shoulder by doing that little uh, correction right here by cutting that off and then I will tape that on so that the shoulder in the back comes higher the shoulder in the front goes lower and that on me um, is a better angle that's going to be different for everyone just as the shoulder slope is different for everyone that's why when something doesn't fit well especially for with the blouse always check the shoulder slope first because the garment hangs from the shoulder and quite often the problems come from the shoulder and if you can correct the shoulder you can get it you can get it right in this case the shoulder angle or the shoulder uh, slope was fine but the angle of the seam was not so those are the corrections that I have to make uh, that I had to make on this blouse and that I now have to go back and make on my block so that I don't have the same problems over and over and over again so for me it was shorten the shoulder seam scoop out the front armhole make this dart deeper and now I have to go back and fix the hemline of my block as well. So I hope that's helpful. I hope you learn from my mistakes so you don't have to uh, do the same thing on your own blocks. But uh, that's the importance of fitting your block in the first place. That's what I mean when I talk about um, the importance of fit in your block. That your block obviously is not a style. It's not for style. It's a blank slate. It has no style. It's boring. I understand that. But that's where you, what you start with to create your designs. But also it is so important to make sure that it fits because if it doesn't fit, any, any mistakes you make and fit on your block will show up in everything you ever make. And then what's the point of doing a block? The point of the block really is to establish the fit of the garment. The style comes later. The block exists to establish the fit. The fit on your block is critical. And if you don't get it right, as I did not get it right on my block, if you don't get it right, any mistakes you have in your block will translate to everything you ever make. So I hope that was helpful to you, and we'll see you again in a couple of months.